This video is sponsored by Brilliant.org. So if you've ever downloaded any of the additional scripts available from Cyril or any of my scripts that I've been putting together over the past few months, or even been putting your own scripts together, you've probably realized how long that scripts menu within Cyril can start to get. And there's really no way of organizing it. And it can get kind of, I don't know, for me, a little bit aggravating as you're looking through this long list of scripts to try to find the one that you want to run. There's really no good way of organizing that scripts menu, but there is a little trick that'll help break it out a little bit. So it'll make it a little bit easier to read. So that's what this video is about. It's uh, real quick, not going to take too long to get through it, but show you guys what I do, how I organize my scripts, just so that menu is a little bit more readable for us. My name is Rich, and you're watching Deep Space Astro. Okay, so let's start with what the scripts menu looks like when you first install Serial. You haven't downloaded any scripts, you haven't created any scripts and added it into the program. You simply have these six that are in by default, right? And that's fine, that works great for us. The, the issue is, for me anyways, when you start writing your own scripts or you download the additional scripts that are available on Serial's website, or you download my scripts that I've been writing or anybody else's scripts that have been contributing to the project, that list gets long and there's no sub menus within them to kind of categorize things out. But there is a little trick that you can do that'll help break things out and make the menu a little bit easier to read. So just to show you an example, I have created a folder called serial scripts in a parent folder called astrophotography. The first thing I want to mention in one of my earlier videos dealing with downloading scripts from serial, I told you guys to go over into your C drive, your program files, and then serial and then scripts. This is where the default ones are at. And this is where I told everybody in that first video to put any downloaded scripts. That wasn't correct. It works and there's nothing wrong with it per se, but serial doesn't recommend it because a future upgrade could in fact delete everything extra that's in this folder and then you'll be back to downloading your scripts and putting them back again so the recommended way is to create a new folder somewhere in your hard drive it can be wherever you want it can be called whatever you want and that's where you store your script so again that's what i've done on my c drive i have an astrophotography folder within that folder i've created one called serial scripts and just for demonstration purposes, I've added my scripts that I have written and I've downloaded and added all the additional scripts from Serial into this folder. If you don't know where to get any of these scripts within Serial, if you come over to your menu button here and then just click on get scripts, it'll take you over to the documentation and this link right here where it says, please refer to this address to browse and download the scripts. If you click on there, there's going to be two folders in here, ones for pre-processing, the ones with DSA or my scripts. So this is a Star Trails one that I just recently released. And the rest of these are serials. We back up again. We have a processing script. Again, DSA, these are my four that I've contributed to the project. You can download them right from serials repository. So that's what I've gone ahead and done. I've downloaded everything that's available just to show you how messy this can get if you start having multiple scripts within serial. So again, all the scripts are all in a single directory i'm just going to come up in here and click in our path box so i see the real path name and right click and say copy and then back in serial we're going to come over to our menu button again we're going to hit preferences click on scripts on the left hand side and these are the two default paths in windows that serial puts in place for you so the program files is where i just showed you where all the pre-installed scripts are at they also put a path in here that you can put your scripts into if you want i prefer not to use that that's why i copied the path previously so i'm going to come over here and right click and say paste so there's my astrophotography slash serial scripts folder once that's in place just click apply at this point you can either close serial and reopen it or you can come down to the command line and type reload scripts and hit enter now we come back to our scripts and you can see all the scripts are added into the scripts menu the one thing that you'll notice is there is a space between the default scripts that come with the program and the ones that i just added so we're gonna this is what we're gonna play on right here we're gonna make sub categories get a space in between however we want to organize our scripts so i'll show you what i'm talking about we're gonna go back over to where i downloaded the scripts and like i said these are all the ones that i downloaded from Ciro as well as the ones that i wrote for myself and scripting in Ciro is really not that hard if you guys haven't played around with it you should take a look at it we can just open up one of these right now real quick just to show you everything with the pound symbol aka the hashtag or just the comment line so the serial will ignore these lines that begin with that but you can see right here you know sub sky is the command for a background extraction rm green 
removes green noise. Auto stretch will do an auto stretch for you. Like I said, scripting in serial isn't at all hard. It's simply just a list of commands and their parameters to automate repetitive tasks within serial. Um, I mean, I've been scripting for quite a few years using other languages and stuff, but I like to keep myself sharp on it by using brilliant.org in their computer science and programming lesson. It's it's cool. It's a free and easy way that you can learn more about programming and other topics. Brilliant is the best way for anyone to learn not only computer programming, but also thousands of other lessons such as neural networks, programming, and even astrophysics. In their computer science and programming lessons, you learn how to build solid foundations for computational problem solving and how to design algorithms and data structures that make your programs and scripts more effective. Whatever your skill level is, Brilliant customizes the content to fit your needs and allows you to complete the lessons at your own pace. It's just a fun, interactive, and easy way to learn basic to advanced topics. And they're adding new lessons every single month. So to try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash deep space astro or click on the link in the description below and the first 200 of you will get 20 percent off of brilliance annual premium subscription so within our scripts this is where our organization is going to happen all right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take my scripts and i'm going to create their own separate folder for them so still in my serial scripts folder i'm going to create a new one and i'm just going to call it deep space astro then i'm going to take all of my scripts the ones that start with dsa and we're going to drag them and drop them up in my deep space astro folder and then kind of the same thing i'm going to do it a little bit differently but i'm going to start with a new folder called cyril and then within that folder i'm going to create one called osc for one shot color and then i'm going to create one called mono for you guessed it mono so we'll go back up and we're going to grab our mono scripts and just cut those paste them into our mono folder and then the same thing with the osc stuff we're going to cut those out and these ones go into the osc folder so now i have three paths that i'm going to add into serial so We'll start with Deep Space Astro. I'm just going to click on it and open it up so I can see the path up here. And again, if you click over to the right and then right click and copy, and then we'll jump over into Serial, back into our preferences, and then our scripts. We're going to remove the one that we added previously. So just highlight it and hit delete, and then right click and paste to put my Deep Space Astro in there. Hit enter to start a new line. Then we're going to come back over and we're going to jump into the serial one. So we'll go into the mono again, click over on the path, right click and copy back to serial. And we'll paste that path in there. One more to go. And that's for the OSC. So we'll back in the serial OSC. We'll copy that path and paste that in there. Once you have your new paths in, make sure you hit the apply button. And again, you can close and restart serial or do a reload scripts from the command line. Now, when we come up to our scripts menu, you can see we got that nice space in between everything that we categorize the way that we want to see it. So all of my scripts that I wrote are sitting in a section of the menu. All my mono scripts are broken out from serial and all of my OSC scripts are broken out from serial. What I would like to see happen instead of doing it this way is possibly someday having little fly out menus, right? So instead of having sections in one big long menu like this, and when I say fly out, I'm talking about something like this, like color calibration. It's got a little arrow here. You click on it and it shows you a sub menu. It would be cool to be able to click on our scripts, have a sub menu named Deep Space Astro, right? Just follow the naming convention that we're using here. So if my folder is called Deep Space Astro and then I have one called Serial, it'd be nice to click scripts, see Deep Space Astro, and then that flies out to a sub menu with the scripts. And then one that says Serial and that flies out to a menu with the script. But I don't know that. I don't think that's anything they're ever going to do. I, I believe a while back I talked to one of the developers about it and they didn't seem too keen on it, which is fine. You know, this helps keeping things organized and being able to quickly find the script that you're looking for. So hopefully you guys found that useful. I think it makes it a little bit easier to read that scripts menu as you go through it, especially when you have quite a few of them loaded up. I want to take this time to give a special thanks to all of my members, both here on YouTube and over on buymeacoffee.com. Appreciate everybody's support. Appreciate everybody that watches the channel, shares it, likes it. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Again, I appreciate everybody's time and we'll see you in the next video. Clear skies.